Hello YouTube, this is Town Tech Computers. I'm about to do a computer build today. I am basically taking the computer I tested, the 3820K i7, build that I did on a test bench, and I am uh, transport to my full size case. So, yay. Um, you guys get an example. If you see the case behind me, right there, that is the Roswell, I think, knife. Nighthawk. It's an awesome case. I mean, it's not heavy. Good construction. A lot of wild maintenance. Cable management you can do. Uh, all of it has the 140 millimeter fans. It has a 200 on top. So, yeah. Oh, sure. Uh, correction, two 140 mm fans. So, I, I'm just a little sleepy. It's been a long day. Anyways, so as you can tell, the case is pretty huge. And give you guys a good example here. Basically, I'm taking that on throughout stuff and basically put inside that tire yourself. So, if I for or do, let's get started. I'm gonna first move everything off the test bench. If I do anything else, so I'm gonna hook some wires here so I can get started. And you guys just give me for a moment and then bring this over here. And it's awfully heavy too. I mean, it really, really is heavy. So there's a little tool on my test bench here. Um, it is like Leon line. The line? Yeah, the line. I do believe it's how you pronounce that company. I could be wrong. I stick up my notes and stuff. So, so good. Anyways, this is my little test bench. I use this for testing new components I get or used components I get for house of fun. So. Let's see, show you a better view for you guys here. Um, yeah, sorry for the racket, my desk is still a little messy. I am in the process of cleaning it up very slowly, but now I guess you guys get really caught up and stuff, you don't remember, or you just let it go by. Anyways, not a little bad. That's just these drives go here. They have this drive, two mechanical drives, which I get to use on test bench yet but there are identical Seagate 320 gig set drives I mean if it comes down to it I can just like rate them in rate zero get good pretty good performance out of it for testing I mean this is something think of my EBJ supernova 850 watt pass line which is amazing then here's the rest of stuff. My T90X, MSI Gaming, 8 gig video card. Got my i7 320K underneath my Ferro Cooler from Thermotech. And I have two 4 gig sticks of HyperX memory, 1600 MHz. So, this is an Azrock um, Pro M board. board. That's some cool features. I mean, it has triple P size fresh slots. One you can't see because it's hidden in my video card. Uh, focus. Yeah. So that's not too bad. Um, the only thing I wish this thing had uh, was like an M2 slot. But I can't really complain. So, the only downside with this board some of the fan parts don't work, work at all. So, oh well. There's, luckily, I have more like two fan connectors, so it works. Yeah, so before I do, let's get started. There. Now, I'm going to be cooler on here. The only thing I'm going to be taking off here is the power supply, one SSD drive, and go from there. So, let's go. Um, Now these clips are sometimes a little difficult, but 
As long as you're gentle, we're gonna walk a little bit. It'll come out just fine. There's the iPhone I O. Now I don't need a screwdriver to get the stuff screw out. And it's right next to the um Yay. Computer error 101. Working for them. Little thumb screw. No. Stay. Now I shoot this off here. Now, hopefully I don't have to go for that locking thing, but I think I might have to. So, yeah, uh, find it here. Um, yeah. That should have probably worked a little bit easier. Alright, that's all. You can't see that too well. But there's a little pin at the bottom of my video card. My webcam can focus better. Come on, focus. Yeah, now it's not a focus on it, but uh, yeah, it's actually right where my screwdriver is, right back there. Yeah, oh, shit. There you go. Oh, okay, thing right there. That's not your typical clip. It's just a slider. It slides lock in place. So. Yeah, it's still come up. There, one more thumb screw. Yeah. And here, as you see, my 290X. 8 gig, MSI, game edition video card. This is what I was telling you guys that you can overclock the hell out of it, and the only thing I might blow is a PSI press slot. That's about it. The car's kind of heavy. It's amazing, the car. If you guys want to go high end for, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks, I will recommend this card. Especially if you're doing like AutoCAD and stuff too, because it has enough VRAM to handle all that stuff too. But, anyways, prop this out here. And the process of doing this, later on, I'll be doing a video about my media server, a uh, server that I have running. I am swapping out heat sinks. I'm thinking about switching from a um, APU dual core to uh, Athlon 5350 quad core. It uses like uh, about one third wattage. I'm trying to keep the wattage down because I uh, like being power efficient. I just want to have a PC run 24 7. Or I have power efficiency then. I haven't used a lot of water in there, but, well, you know, run up the gas and electric bill for no reason. Alright, that's SSD storage one, burner, and operating drive. Now, the operating drive, I have to figure out that right, shows the bottom graph. Yeah, that's gonna make it easy. Sure, it might be the top drive. Unfortunately, if I was a top drive, I have to do a little bit more effort to get the screws out of it. As you can see here, that's, just it. that's where you mount the two and a half inch drives at. Or this is Deuce, which I have. have. It's not that bad. I mean, this case is pretty cool. Paid, I think, $50 on eBay for this case. It's a nice little test bench. Before I get like something like J uh, Z two cents has, or J two cents, like that open bench a little bit better. Because it's a high and everything. It has you get your DS though. As preferred to uh, have I get more of display I can show people than just have it hidden. They're all bulky up, but it works. I think Paul, Paul's hardware has one, that just like mine. 
So, I don't know. It works. You gotta do all, one more SATA connector. Okay, I have to leave one SATA, one SSD drive here, so I can do more benchmarking. When I get another setup to have some fun with. Till then, let's just stay on here. Now, uh, now the power supply is coming with this system. Because my little four, uh, 50 watt power supply can't actually handle this. So, yeah. But, it's all good. Having a fully modular power supply is kind of unique. The only thing that is a little difficult with this one is I prefer the 20 pin or 24 pin uh, hookup to be already connected to the power supply. But, it's not that big of a deal. So, it's, it's, been a, it's just been a while since I had one like that. Now, the fun part is trying to get the screws out of the power supply. Okay, my original power supply I had in the system was a 450 watt. Because most of the component I was testing was only using maybe 350 watts with a video card included. So, that's the reason why. I go a little higher wattage because the processor and the video card I was using, I uh, showed you guys earlier, uses a lot more wattage. Then you then my 450 watt computer. Which is no big deal. Simple swaps. That's all you have to do. And here you go. There's my AVGA. A50. I think you got a better view here. There you go. Yeah. A50 watt. G3. Cooler. And if you notice on the fan blades, it has little G's on it. Oh, not G's, E's. Alright. Um, that's 70.8 amps up for the plus 12 route, which is amazing. Nowadays. Before you see, I always high on the plus 5 and the plus 3.3 .3 rails. But since it's modern with Peter now, we use much of the uh, 12 volts. It makes it a lot easier. Now, off to get the motherboard out. Not many screws. And yes, I use a metallical, metallic screwdriver because it makes this job a lot easier. I misplaced my long neck screwdriver. I'm not sure exactly where I stuck it at, but I gotta find it here to make this a little bit easier. I saw there is a giant 230 watt cooler. I thought I'd get this out of here. I'll actually get the box that the pool of camera and give you guys a better view of what it actually looks like. I mean, it's a great cooler. It definitely cools off the Z7. No, with no problem whatsoever. I agree the Z7 is only. 3.6 gigahertz, which is going 0.4 gigahertz faster than my uh, 4770K, which is kind of cool. There we go. Uh, it's between this motherboard and the power supply that I had in the system. Made this thing weigh a lot. And now the system is light. See? It's very light now. So, off the side. Now the hard part is trying to show you guys my giant case here since I really don't have a um say a table to restate some. So I'm gonna do my best to show you guys. I'm gonna hook my webcams off the side of my desk. Or maybe I'm not, you know what? Maybe my gaming keyboard out of the way. I should be able to make something happen. So, hmm. First, we use right on it. If we don't use right now. Yeah, I know. I'm just dropping over there. Did I say we, we don't need it right now? 
Oh, the SSD. You go on your country. There. The wires out of the way. Mouse is out of the way. Now is big ass tire. Okay. Bam. I wouldn't lie about how big it is either. I mean, it's like huge. I mean, you room for four, five and a quarter inch drives. You have two, four, six, eight hot spot drives. What the hell? Stop it. Um, whatever else. And yes, this actually comes out here. If you guys actually need extra space for video cards or for miscellaneous stuff. Which is cool. Uh, on the back, I do believe it has a mount for uh, two and a half inch drives, I think. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not too sure. So, anyways, I got a Sparrow 140 mil fan that came with the case that I took out earlier. Because originally I had my wallet phone in here from the old i7 first generation. I wanted to swap it out for new, for the one that I put in here with 3820K. And yeah, I can put an extra fan out below. But I don't think I need it right now. Just has enough cool power as it is. Two on top, three D was ones in the front, and eventually one more in the back. And you got a better example of the case here. If you look on the back, you have plenty of grommets to all your wiring. And it's really if you guys can see it, there's a quarter inch or half inch between the tray and the case, so you guys can run on all your wires properly. And on top of the case here, you do have a state adapter here, so you can run hot swap drives. You have four 2.0 USB drives, two USB 3, and you got fan controls right here too, besides microphone and headphone jack, reset button, power button. Now on the back, which is my favorite feature, fans a pop up, see? Like body armor, like the Batman, like bat armor. Yeah, we go with bat armor. That sounds cool. Yes, good on. Let's back up here. If it was dead. Ah, I love webcams. Here's when the base closes on it. So, anyways, this would be pretty straightforward how to set this up. I can show the back fan later. I'm not in the rush. Now the space is tilted a little bit, but since I once I put the motherboard in here, the case should stop leaning in my favor. So yes, I am picking the motherboard up solely by my cooler. Because it is amazing. Now Now, unfortunately, I am unsure about the right IO bracket handy. Let's find out here. Nope. Not sure the right one. So, I guess I don't have a uh, bracket. Well, I did get this whole board on a tray, too, so I'm not expecting much either. So, for all you. Here's an example of how it looks. Come on, Cam, focus. There's too much light. Yep, maybe. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, that's how it looks and stuff. Tiny ass board, and a big ass case. So. Ah! Yeah, I'm out there, make it a little bit easier. Yeah, um. Now, screw time! Yay! You guys are wondering why I'm not too worried about lining all the holes up properly. Just because I have a little um, saw off that actually whoops, that takes care of that problem for me. So it makes my job even easier. Sit down. There. Get the right screw. I have the screw for the SSD drive in my hand. This doesn't help any. Yeah, push screw down. And now, uh, as you can tell, 
the case isn't leaning no more. And apparently, the, my cool, my giant ass cooler here is heavier than the whole freaking case. And that's um, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, you might think kind of leery though, but how heavy the key sinking is. But I love it. It's my all time favorite cooler that I've ever used. And Santa Screws does not like being put in the system. So I'm about to find different screws. Like maybe the HP ones might work. Yep, the HP one worked. Okay, I'm using the original screws that came with the case. But fortunately, to my luck, that I need. I don't know, will that affect much? Yeah, no, maybe. No, I'm not too worried about it. Should I get this one in the side here? Tight space. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Mishu. 101. You don't like being moved, moved much. Who does that? Let's see. It's a little flex. Nothing much. A little bit's okay with me. A lot scares me. Guys, well. For a lot of flex. You know, a chance of bending one of the lines of silicone and a lot of problems. We don't want that. Because that'd be bad. That'd be a bad day. Now I get a, a bad day. Now, I have one screw left. I'll find the right screw here. There we go. For whatever reason, that scroll is being a dick. So, let's update it a little bit. Oh, I have a, a past last screw work perfectly. Go figure. Now, as soon as you get that in, so I guess we do the past one X. Get something inside here. Scratch the decks up more. Yay! More scratches. Then this thing works just as much as a stinking cooler does. So, line this up. I guess about this case, it has rubber grommets. I know you guys see it way, very well, but it's actually pretty freaking cool. And apparently, this one actually is supposed to go. Right here. Because for version, it got moved. Is that pay? I don't remember how much I paid for this case. I know they paid retail for it. I think I paid $60 for this case. I think. Or less. Which is actually very cool. Now, I'm going to use a thumb screw here, so I'm trying to line up the holes here. There's one. There. Yeah, thumb screw. Now you get a better angle here. And that doesn't help anything. There you go. Screws are over here. Time to find me some screws. Yay! Okay. Once you get this started here, it'd be a piece of cake. Gotta be careful too, because I don't want to drop this case. Well, uh, oh, here's that screw for reference, I guess. Um, 
Yeah, this is not going as well as I planned. It helps if you use the right freaking screw. I have that right uh, screw on too. There we go. Don't know why, but before my Corsair cool uh, power supply than this, is it made a hell of a lot easier. Oh, note to say, this power supply actually has a little switch right here. This switch is for eco friendly. So, I guess it have to save some power, which is very nice. Oh, all, all, all uh, EVGA passwords does that. I have to find that out. I had a great deal for my server. Save us some, save us some power. Cause I run a 600 watt non-modular uh, Thermotech cooler. Not cooler. Uh, pass light. It doesn't need perfectly. I mean, I have no problem knocking on wood with it. So. And just that, now take this tiny scrap and replace it with a big one. Oh, not. Ah, there we go. So, that's screw. And now that this that also has a button and filter, which you probably should be cleaned every so. Many times. Now get it back in the hole, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Because on the back of this case, you have little guides. I don't know if you guys see this very well now, but you have little guides on the back of the case here. And it's a little hard to get to sometimes. Or get it lined up sometimes, I mean. But it's all good. There. Now, my camera tries to focus. Yay, focused. So, now we get the board pass line here. Now to hook up the uh, front I.O. And then I'm going to get to the pass line. Hard drives. And, after I get that, then I'm going to install my SSD drive. First things first. Let's find the USB header. It's like way over here. You know what I think about this? The USB header is actually uh, on the side. Surprisingly. I thought for sure it would be um, parallel with the rest of the board, like usually most of them are. I have a new USB header. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be pulling the wires there, but. I'm trying to hold the case from falling over on, on the stomachs on top of it. Really, really don't want this thing to fall, break my motherboard, break my foot, and have a very bad day. Rather than I have that right now. <laughs> as much as people love to see other people get hurt, I am not ready for that. So. Oh, great, there's a bit of tin on here. By the way, his audio wasn't working. Now this is not the fix. It's a better view here. Now, see I can just focus here. Yeah, this is uh, that's the audio port. Now, this pin here is a focus better. Focus down. Yeah. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, that's what, that what. This one here is kind of bent, so it's best to have a little screwdriver to bend it back in place. So, so this guy, I got this board from bent two pins. Huh? How is that possible? I assume he was trying to put a USB port on it. There we go. Yay! It's on there. Now for the fun part, it's putting 
We have power adapter, our power switch, reset switch, hard drive light, and power D light onto the onto the little pins. Which is a pin is. I mean, really, it, it really is a pin is. Because some boards don't have it labeled, but this one actually has everything labeled, which is pretty freaking sweet. All right. Um, I don't have to find where I want to switch my reset switch one too, but it's going to be too big, too big of a problem. Now, I know they have a fan for the Cypress chips on this motherboard. It'd be freaking amazing if they put a fan on the MOSFETs above the case up here. That'd be even better. So hopefully the big fans on top can keep it cool enough. Because that's actually where most of my heat comes from. Sadly. Uh, so that's everything. Uh, here's a reset switch. Yeah. There, yeah, that's all hooked up. Now, reach out here, got my SSD down here. And pop this in there. See, it lines up perfectly. Find some screws. And since this is an SSD drive, you really don't need that many screws. Two is efficient. I mean, yeah, you can put four in there if you want to, but you really don't need to. Because there are no moving parts. Where is it going to go? Somehow I'll grow legs and arms and undo the screws. That'd be hilarious. So. Anyways. The only downside of uh, setting up a new computer is to restart all my old software again. Which is going to take a little time, depending on how fast everything runs. But it should do just fine. Now for the fun part. Do have all the power supply cables. Anyway, short cable. Now granted the very first time I tried this power supply, I did not realize that apparently if you guys can see this or not, there's a total of twenty I see um, yeah, twenty eight pins. The one that breaks apart here, like the old ATX uh, boards. Oh, not ATX. I think they call them a different name. But you know, you, but a few who build computers from the early 90s should so know what I'm talking about. And the mobile power connector had like a two, like a two piece with the Pentium uh, twos and threes. But yeah, I didn't realize his Corsair's modular power supplies has exact same 24 pin that plugs into the power supply. As the motherboard, so but the court, but the EVGA threw me off a bit. I wasn't used to it, but I am now, so it's a lot easier now. So I know what the hell I'm doing. And people might wonder, like, why do you look it up online for? I'm lazy, I like to figure things out on my own. Now, if I can't figure it out after trying a couple times, then yes, I will look it up online to find out what I'm doing wrong. Now hopefully, this wire is long enough to reach the motherboard track. Yeah, right. well. huh. yeah it reaches. Barely reaches, but reaches. I think I got a lot of zip ties. As I miss how um, power supplies just come with the um, Velcro. There, that's in there. And there you go. And the first part. Now they get the 8 pin connection. Now, get it. I would say this one last time. This threw me off a little bit too. Just a little bit. 
because I because most uh, fast light companies have way these chains clipped together, not apart, and not clip at all. Unless the first thing this thing was like that, and the first thing I got it from broke them. But by the looks of how the clip, see the plastic is here. It looks like they actually came that way, which isn't a bad thing. It's just I wish they clipped on because it would have made it a little bit easier. But that's all good. Now, the good thing about this power supply I do like about it, you run two CPU 8 pin connectors. Which I guess that's for server boards, I guess. Because I never had a motherboard yet that had two 8 pins on it. I said yet, because in the future I might. So that's pretty cool. Now, hopefully, now it seems like it might be long enough. So I'm going to see if I can get it to the uh, up there about a pin for it. So there we'll be a little bit. And it reaches. Yay, it reaches. Now, hopefully, I can get to stay. Yeah, my heart dropped too when I saw my case sliding out from underneath my arm. So, I understand. That would suck really, really bad if that happened. Uh, that's one. Two. Now, you guys might be wondering why I don't have this fan installed yet. It's because that one reason right there. Kind of medium size, a large hand, very tight space. I really don't want to take this off. Because I have to fit around with that again. Not worth my time. I'd rather just do it the easy way and put the fan in last. So, if you guys think it, like to do the other way around, cool with me. Your choice. I just prefer doing that way better. That's all. Now, since so I got all that stuff in there, now you guys might be wondering, there is a Molex connector right here. If you guys see this now. So, that's if you run Frostfire or SSI. Oh, SLI. Sorry. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Anyways, um, last component is really installed. There's the video card. Yes, I do have an, um, oh crap, I forgot to install the USB 3.4 part here. I guess why I'm wondering why I'm starting the same low follow away. Yes. Well, I guess I have to. So, let's go with me for a minute. Because I find my shooter. Voila. Now, why is it every time we build computers, our screwdrivers, for whatever reason, disappears on us? It makes absolutely no bloody sense. It's so weird. Now, I bet you a lot of people can relate with this. That when we were using a screwdriver, we pull off the side. And yes, it will be right next to us. And for whatever reason, we can't find it. it happens all the bloody time. It's really, really annoying. So, I, if you guys if you're, it's like they say, like, build in vibration mode for the um, screwdrivers. Because then, if I, my hands are off of it too long. Or like start vibrating and they're like, oh, where's that vibration coming from? I bet you 100% percent will probably check our phones first if that was the case. And that'd be hilarious. So, there's this. Now if I can put this in here, yeah, I made the last back. What's that? Now, take a sensor. Really, with this with dual side video cards, you really only need one sensor. I mean, you're welcome to put more than one, but. But you really only need one. Yeah. 
Alright, now for the second fun part. Passing the wires for the video card. Uh, EVGA, as you can tell, does wire by wire. So instead of the, a wire piggybacks, like Corsair, Coolmaster, and many other EVGA power supplies, and multiple other brands, they have a piggyback. Which I still have a wire, I can show you guys that one. I like this. This is my Corsair 600 watt power supply. Not 600, uh, 850. As you can tell, it's a piggyback. Which to me, I like both ways, so either way doesn't bother me one bit. I'm uh, sure other PC builders that have their own personal uh, uh, preference of it. But to me, I don't. As long as the wires connect, I don't really care. Now the fun part is getting this thing and you have Yeah. Now I'm gonna run the wire probably through this part here. Because I really don't want to overcrowd the um fast by place. So now this thing can run four eight pin connectors, which is pretty cool. Now I might get myself a um, capo mod set. I mean, a lot of people talk about that lately. And I do like a black and white thing, which I think would be kind of be really cool. Um, there. So, because the fans, the case lights up blue. I know white's really uh, vivid to ultra light, ultra bright lights. So that's the reason why. I thought that would be really, really cool. Now, granted, this is actually one of the first cases that I own besides my Throw 2 case and my next 440 case. It has a lot of room for wild management. So, so otherwise, I hooked up. I'm going to hook up one. Um, I sure I need one because I only got three drives hooked up. so. Oh, should be plenty. Now, I am going to hook up a Molex to 4 pin. Not Molex 4 pin. Um, a Molex adapter for the power supply. That way I can run all my fans off the power supply so I don't have to worry about trying to connect to the motherboard. Which in this case would be a lot easier. Okay. <coughs> um, you guys just give me just a moment. Um, I'll be right back. Apparently. On my keyboard and on my closet. Yeah. Alright, man. And you might see this, but this is not for that case. It's actually for my uh, micro AMD. Uh, so. There we go. Hey, cool. The first wire poured out. Ha <laughs> ha. No. You guys are wondering why I'm not using the same side all the other wires are going through. Mainly because I like to kind of keep them separated so I know which wires are which. But I'm kind of going to take too much trouble moving everything off again. Okay. And there we go. Hold on. Now they're just going to get the rest of the wires together. And. Shoot. Sorry about the sneeze again. Uh, this screw is being annoying. It's being a little bit. Yeah. There we go. We're not wearing shoes right now, so I really don't want to step on it. So, we got everything together. I'm not going to hook up the hard drives. Yeah, they can. Duh. I'm stupid. I only have my operating system started already. So, why worry about it? I'm a little slow. There's one drive, two drives. And pick this up. I know it looks kind of silly for me running off the grommet past the hard drive, but 
is the reason why. Maybe because if I run all the wires off of here, it probably won't look as neat as I want to be. And then it'll be blocked up like I give you guys a better idea. You guys be blocked up like this. Yeah, I really don't like that. I prefer just run a direct line like that. You see, it makes it a bit easier. Then there's all your this is what it looks like. Like the only cable you see is my fan cables. Now these I can't get rid of. They're part of the um I can't actually get this to that these I want to. But I prefer to keep everything together. So but yeah, there's there's everything for you. These are the fan adapters, which would be on the back side of the case. Now I'm gonna flip the case over. And you guys should tour the back side. And yeah, that kind of style kind of like a porno, but oh well. There we go. Oh. This case out way more heavier. And there we have it. Now, if I forget again to hook up this part. Uh, don't worry, I'm going with this part. Uh, let's see here. There we go. So here. Yeah, here's P3 for our up now. Now this here. Is actually probably the fans controller. And no. Put that back up again. So the beam I keep on one tail about driving here. Or this like get rid of it. Now this here, this is for the uh, top drive. Or for better for sure, the um top ball. Up top. Which is super nice. I'm going to that right there because I can't see the hell of it. Apparently, I have the thing up upside down. Now, all the wires are hooked up. Now, pull these through. Because all these wires are here, this big jumble mess of wires are going to go zip tie it all against the board here to make it look really nice. Now look at the power line here to the uh, hardware. There's a the top one first. Yeah, this cage isn't the steadiest. I wish they would have done better at that, though. The hard drive uh, trays kind of like suck. I mean, we could have spent a little bit extra money that they did on the third case and have it more um, stable. I know they probably did it for anti vibration, but in my personal opinion, they did a lot better job and they did it the other way. A little bit, a couple extra bucks invested in it, probably would have took care of a lot. So, oh well, what can you do? So, next time you guys design this case, Roswell, please, please make the hard drive cages better. And then this would be an awesome case to buy. So, there we have it. Got all the wires hooked up here, all the fans, anything, the fan controllers up here. I want a fan to install, but I'll say that for another video. So, I'll see you guys later. Take care.